Hi there. So I'm sure you've heard lots of chatter um, over the weekend about the Fed just cutting rates. And there's a lot of misconceptions out there of exactly what that means. So let's dive in and talk about what that means. So this is actually what we've been waiting for for the past two years. Um, so why did the Fed cut rates? So the Fed has two targets. Number one, to keep inflation below 2%. And number two, to keep unemployment below 5%. So the rates were cut simply because unemployment is up and inflation is down. It's that simple. Um, next question I hear is why did they cut rates a half a percent instead of a quarter percent? Typically we see a quarter percent. But because they believe that unemployment is going up faster than inflation is going down, they chose to go ahead and cut it by a half a percent. So what does this all mean? So on our economic clock, we've been in economic winter for quite a while. And the first indicator that we're heading into economic spring is actually falling interest rates, which is what we've been seeing. Um, last Friday, September 20th, I received an email that mortgage rates have dropped to a two year low. So where are rates going? Um, the Fed's likely going to cut. It's just a question of when, based on what we're seeing on the dot plot. Likely a quarter of a percent cuts each meeting or every other meeting for the foreseeable future. And likely we're gonna see 1% in the next six months and 2% in the next 18 to 24 months. So most importantly in my line of real estate, how does this impact conventional single family home rates? So we're already seeing rates down 2% from the peak last year, which is huge. Um, all of the models currently expect the rates to decline over the next one to two years. And rates typically don't go up, down, up, down. They typically go up, 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 then down, down, down. So we're now on that down, 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 downturn. Um, so now is a good time to refinance. It's likely to get even better for the foreseeable future. And it might not be a bad time to consider variable rate debt as well. Um, so as always, I'm here for you. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out.